Sandrews kick goes up towards half forward looking for Edmund off hands it comes no it's going to go back the umpire will give the free kick to Jimmy and forward go the dogs out comes Beasley in front and he's got it and like the Richmond full forward Brian Taylor his knee is also strapped but Simon Beasley the chance to kick the first now for the dogs conditions absolutely ideal slightly overcast the ground looks pretty good and Beasley on screen slightly stammered approach Simon's kick though looks good up go the Bulldog flags first blood to the dogs they lead one goal straight to Richmond one behind and Craig Baum will certainly have his hands full. Simon Beasley, a fine player and one who Footscray look for at every opportunity. It's a good lead, a good pass, and Beasley certainly finishes it off. Centre bounce once again. Purser up against Lee. And Purser won an indecisive tap. Hurry kick goes out towards the centre wing region, picked up by Roach, who threads his way through the pack, spins on the left foot, Bartlett gets a bad bounce, tap down in front, a chance now for Matthew Wall, but he overruns it, pushed forward by Lunn out wide towards the wing, and look at the pace of Lunn! Through he goes, he socketed that ball from the half-back flank, but it's going to be holed up momentarily by Greg Strawn as he goes with a high kick and finding Jimmy Jess loose on the half-forward line. Now Taylor's calling for it in the square. Jess realised a little too late. So Taylor leads out. Hansen is there. Taylor too. Welsh unable to get a touch and a chance for the dogs to clear. Brian Royal picks it up. Bounces one in towards the centre. It's a better bounce for Richmond than Footscray. Waiting out wide was Winton. Oh, did not want the football. And it's going to be taken away by Steve Wallace. Down towards half forward. A great mark by Edmund. Into the open goal goes Jimmy. But has he hooked it? No, he's got it. Second goal in as many minutes to Footscray. And what a great start for the Dogs. Yes, and young Witt would be particularly disappointed with that. Uh, he, well, had the opportunity of taking possession of the ball, giving a quick hand pass out or even a quick kick, and just lost it completely. Two goals straight to Footscray. Richmond have one behind on the board. Beasley and Edmund, the scorers for the Dogs. Centre bounce once again. Lee wins it this time. Attempting to take it away for Footscray then was McKenna. Loses it. And now a chance for the Tigers. Through Flea Waitman. Oh, Taylor's come a long, long way out. And faltered in his step. Didn't know whether to try and get it on the half volley or not. And consequently was too slow. It lets in Cordy. That is Neil. Rioli ducks the head and gets caught. Gee, they're tackling fiercely. Jess didn't come out with it. Persa got caught in the centre of the ground and a ball up to take place. I feel that Palm is on the interchange bench for Richmond with Rioli going to the centre. Jess to a half forward flank. Strawn to centre half back and landed to the back pocket to look after Footscray's captain Jimmy Edmund as we find it driven back there by Waitman off the hands of the pack. Coming in, kicking the ball off the ground. Wiley. Racing after it, we find Perrin. Perrin walks around, very close to the boundary. In fact, he actually did go over the boundary just as he was about to put boot to ball. So we'll find a throwing to take place right in front of the members' stand on the uh, members' side of the ground, of course. And we'll find it on a half-forward flank for Richmond. It will be Purser in the front position. Roach comes around in the front. Purser got him out of the way. Neither player could get a clear knockout. There's a pack forming just as Mervyn Kane got the ball out and the bounce to take place, still on the half-forward flank for the Tigers. And Bobby, although we've only played a couple of minutes, the first time we've seen Footscray and Andrew Purser in absolutely everything. Since he's obviously had a great start to the season. Uh, Footscray have recruited quite well with Purser, Sewell, and uh, their, well, I'll call them their local boys, even though the Royal and those players do come from down the Latrobe Valley. Here's the bounce again, Roach and Purser. Roach tried to push the ball down. Instead, it was taken by McKenna towards the centre wing. Waiting down is Rollings, the Richmond skipper. 
Transfers play to the half forward line, but all foot scrape and a good mark taken by Jimmy Sewell. Sewell has the player running in Kellett, uses him to advantage too as he puts it out wide towards Edmonds, the player he's looking for, goes up with a one hand, recovers and gets the handball away. A chance once again as the handball shot back, a shot in towards full forward. Beasley is there, can't complete the mark, play on is the call, and it's taken over the line. My word, the Footscrow fans rising every time that ball is pushed down and there's trouble for Richmond looks as though Baum has some problem with the left ankle as that one goes straight down the throat from Mark Lee down to Jimmy Edmund he says thank you very much and posts Footscray's third goal yes, well, can you understand a Ruckman just tapping the ball down in front of him in the back line when I say in the back line right virtually in the goal square alongside the behind post and not very good luck play by Mark Lee. So it'll be again Mark Lee at the centre bounce this time. Purser up high, gets a tap down to Royal. Royal dummies beautifully, then puts a kick high in the air. Edmonds in position again, couldn't take the mark. The loose ball comes out, picked up by Landy in fine style. Landy goes wide, but it's Neil Cordy leading in the race with the ball for Footscray. He's being told by Kellett that he's completely clear and Kellett uh, takes the hand pass, gives it over the top again. Footscray looking good as Perrin goes forward now with a left foot kick. Baum from behind, punches it away. It's uh, taken, but he runs into Egan. That was Kane. Egan gets a hand pass out to Landy, who wasn't expecting it, and he put it straight over the boundary line. <laughs> and so we'll find a throwing to take place. Forward pocket for Footscray. There's the small board. It's... Richmond one point with Footscray three straight goals. A great start to the Dogs. Lee takes it out. His handball smothered well. Shand in there for Richmond. Can't get the ball clear and the umpire decided that they had time and he'll bounce the ball. Still on the half forward line for Footscray. Very little breeze here. It's normal. Whatever breeze there is tends to swirl at the MCG. Lee wins it and the free kick. So a big mark, the general. In the back pocket who started the year in fine touch towards centre wing looking for Roach being beaten at the moment Purser showing great agility across to Cordy keeps the ball in play with that left foot looks for Beasley the flyer in front of him is Jimmy now here is a problem for Richmond we've only played a number of minutes I don't know five or six but already Jimmy Edmund is showing that he is a definite danger man. Where is the time clock, Bob? What is it? Ten minutes. Just over ten. Edmund has kicked two. It's coming back. Jimmy has kicked three. The dogs are alive at the MCG. Four straight goals to Richmond's one behind on seven's big lead. By Footscray kicking ten goals three and holding Richmond goalless. A lead of 60 points to the Bulldogs at the first change and their supporters were naturally deliriously happy. However, during the second quarter, the Tigers began to get their game together and they trailed by only 38 points as we pick up play at the 21 and a half minute mark now of the second quarter. McKenna, straight across the ground, finds Cordy. Neil Cordy this is. Oh, danger too. Shows a good turn of speed, a quick hand pass. I think Cordy's teammate by surprise. And McPherson, what McPherson that was, was taken by Kane. Rollings to Winton. Winton puts a long kick down, looking for Bartlett in the forward pocket. Almost a mark, he recovers beautifully. Swings onto the right foot, hooks it back towards the goal line. It bounces awkwardly into Taylor's arms. Over. Hand pass to Rowley. Rowley a short pass to Welsh. It's another goal. Great teamwork. And they might even get another kick here. Would not be surprised. If it was two kicks and chance of two goals, well, should put the ball through. No, I do not think he's going to get another kick, but it wouldn't have surprised me, Sandy. No, he was very, very lucky. And Wisher, with that one on the board, making it his second, as Bobby said, and the Tigers now starting to make some impression into this enormous lead that Footscray had. 11-3 to 5-7. Two and a half minutes away from entering time on. And back to the centre. Lee and Persa. We could be in for a crackerjack second half here. Matthew Wall tries to force his way through. 
too slow on that occasion was Waitman. Rowling's lending support. Juggling the ball along in front of him. He eventually loses it. Did the Ghost give away the free kick? No. Play on is the call. And the opportunity is there for Mervyn Kane. To steady. Get the handball away. And it's Barmsky who goes up towards the half-forward line. Winton. In fact, it came from Strawn. Winton beaten on this occasion. Now the Dogs. We need a steadying goal. Groner Wagon went over the top. Unable to complete the mark. And we'll see a throw in. In Footscray's left forward flank. And some great football played so far in this match. The Dogs scoring five, ten goals in the first quarter. And Richmond scoring five so far in this term. They still trail by some 32 behinds. But nevertheless, the Ghost has lifted his game. Andrew Purser, great recovery by the big man. Almost caught uh, his smaller teammate by surprise. Received by Cordy Short. Edmund can't trap it on the half volley. In fact, he's taken out of it. Too slow, Flea, were you? No, free kick. Smallest player on the ground. Kicks towards the centre wing. Jess taken out of it with a push. Picked up. And Tiger fans now starting to rally towards the cause. They were stunned in the first quarter. Waiting down Egan. He's got rid of uh, the headgear. Welsh to Rioli. Morris is deadly in front of goal. Great goal, Morris. And now the Tigers are back in business. He kicks his second. And they move to 6-7-43, trailing Footscray 11-3-69 on Seven's big lead. And a good hand pass on that occasion by Peter Welsh. And lovely blind turn to get himself out of trouble. Quick hand pass to Rioli. And the very talented Morris Rioli to finish it off. So from centre backs, Richmond. A great fight back in this quarter. Lee couldn't quite get to it. Royal puts the ball high in the air. Shan came in. Mm. Pop one too high from Brian Cordy. And so Wayne Shan. He'll feel a lot better now he knows he's got the free kick. It's great medicine, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing better. <laughs> Shan now. It's a nice kick to half forward. Roach is up. It's punched away by Kellett. Taken Push by out. Welsh. Welsh drives the ball, floating forward. Can Taylor get to it? No, it's over the line on the full. So the kick will be taken by Hanson. But uh, the way this game has gone, Sandy, you'd believe that there was a howling wind down the centre of the ground. <laughs> But it's certainly not that way. It's just that Footscray dominated the first term. And now Richmond, a great fight back in the second. As Lee's up high, takes the nice mark. He's played a wonderful game today, Mark Lee. Yep. Plays on. Puts a long kick down to the goal square. Can Taylor oh, take it? Yes. yes, he does. Right in the square. Michael Taylor. <laughs> Brian Taylor. Michael Taylor played on Saturday. <laughs> So it's Brian Taylor, yet to put a goal on the board, but I feel from this position, he'll bring up his first, Richmond seventh. 20 points will be the margin between the sides if Brian Taylor can kick truly. So it's Brian Taylor, the Tiger full forward. 20 points the margin as Richmond go to seven goals, seven, 49. Footscray, 11-3-69. Taylor's first goal, one goal, three to his credit. And the Tigers, seven goals for the quarter. Been Footscray have had a fight back, Sandy. Been a tremendous fight back. Great game of football. The Richmond fans wouldn't have thought so in the first quarter. But here we go. Back to the centre. Almost two minutes of time on play. One by Lee, thumping it down to the half forward line. Oh, beautifully trapped by Waitman across. He goes towards Rollings, who shoots in towards full forward over the top. It goes. There's another one. He's got it. Oh, here they come now, the Tigers. Back in business again. I really did believe that the umpire may have taken that off and given a free kick to Hanson because Taylor was hanging on to him in the goal square. But maybe it would have been a brave umpire <laughs> to, to not to let that goal go through. <laughs> well, it hasn't deterred Barry Rollings. He kicks his first. He's tried hard as a leader, too. My word, he has. Oh, this is tremendous football. Here come the Tiger chant. From the centre again, Lee is playing marvellously well. Brian Royal now for Footscray. The Dogs certainly needing a goal to steady. 
Lee again with Persa. Through goes Morris. Starting to play some good football in the second quarter. Roach over the top. First tool will be Sewell or Kellett. And they see it over the line for a throw in. Richmond's half forward flank. And the Tigers in attack again. I don't know the way how you see it, Sandy, but I feel the inspiration of the Richmond side in this quarter has been Jimmy Jess. Um, but you can take nothing away from Mark Lee, who yes. has dominated as a ruckman. Williams picks the ball up. High in the air it comes down. Cordy, a courageous mark. Great effort by Neil Cordy on that occasion. And two Richmond opponents. A 15-metre penalty brings him up to, to centre wing. Neil Cordy. A nice kick. Half forward flank. No mark. At the back, it's Mark Lee. Oh, too slow on that occasion. Williams just whipped the ball away. Puts it forward. Craig Barn misses a sitter. Edmund swoops. Oh. That top one too high. Edmund, who has already kicked five goals, all in the first term, should easily make it six. He's only 15 metres out directly in front. It was a little bit of bad luck for Matthew Wall because I do believe that he was trying to take possession of the ball and uh, in doing so, actually, there was no doubt it's a free kick, but uh, re really Wall was trying to go take the ball. Well, Jimmy Edmund, directly in front, point blank range, the drop punt on its way, he goals, and Footscray record their 12th. 12 12-3, 12 75, again out to that 20-point break over Richmond, 8-7. Tigers had come back even more, the difference only 11 points. First, on the defensive side of wing, Puts it up towards half forward. No mark taken. Picked up by Wall. Wall's hand pass to Strawn. Strawn steadies. Elects to go for the long kick. Up towards the half forward line. At the back, Wiley. Got, got a push in the back. Taps it out towards Welsh. The left foot snap from Welsh. Swinging back. A great goal by Welsh. His third. For Richmond. Going now to 12 goals 11. 71. What is 11-11? There's the board, 11-11, 77, with Footscray 13-4, 82. Five points, the margin now, with Richmond having 22 scoring shots, Footscray 17. The Wusher scoring his third, Robert Wiley, Morris Rioli have two for Richmond, and of course Jimmy Edmund, the top scorer for the Dogs, with six from the centre bounce. Can the Tigers hit the front? They've been unable to do that all day. And Footscray now, the opportunity to go into attack once again, down towards Brian Royal on the half-forward line. Be Beasley dummies a lead into the pocket, then swings back to centre. He's at the back of the pack. In front is Jimmy Edmund. My word, he's marked well today. And Dale Waitman has left the ground for Richmond. David Palm, who was named to start in the centre, comes onto the ground. And at the same time, Chris Burton onto the ground for Footscray, replacing Rod McPherson. So, Edmund, who has six. After that magnificent first quarter of football, and he kicked five. They need another steadier. He floats a drop punt straight through the middle. Great captain's game from Jimmy Edmund. And the dogs go to 14 4 88, leading Richmond 11 11 77 on seven's big lead. And once again, it's an 11 point margin. At quarter time, it was 60 points. Half time, 19 points. And now, 11 points. Lee Purser. Still, neither player has come off the ball. And today, the honours so far have gone to Mark Lee. Once again, it's a big thump. Lund takes it. The Richmond half forward's not ready for the big punch of Mark Lee. Long kick forward. Kane has the ball punched away there by McPherson. He recovers beautifully. Then a quick hand pass towards Williams. Gets the favourable bounce. Dummies oh. runs back into trouble. Too long. He got three two, but not the third. And it's Greg, it's Greg Strong. A valiant try for the Tigers on all occasions. In towards the centre. Tapped over the back there by Palm. Picked up by Rolf. Steadies. Puts the long kick over the half forward line. Wiley from behind. Couldn't take the mark. Egan's first on the scene. 
Scusa down towards the half back line. Rioli coming across cannot stop Cordy from taking a mark. So it's Neil Cordy. Because of the fact that young Rolf, I think, has been playing so well, Footscray have swung the wings. Both the, the brothers, Neil and Brian, swapping wings. Short pass. Shan gets into the back of his opponent. Not very happy, but nonetheless, it's right. And it's Steve McPherson from centre wing. In towards centre half forward. Strawn punches it away from behind. Comes back to Strawn again. Kicks the ball off the ground. Straight towards Shan. The hand pass into the centre to Palm. Palm breaks past the tackle. A hand pass to Rolfs. Rolfs tackle, but got rid of the ball. Rioli coming through. Couldn't gain possession. Well, Wiley comes in, so too Callett. A quick hand pass out to Brian Cordy. His kick towards centre half forward. Punched away by Strawn. Back in towards the centre. Wall is there. Out wide. Gives the hand pass to Rollings. Rollings directs it towards centre half forward. Wiley brought the ball down. Roach comes through, but it's a free kick to Wiley. Robert Wiley, who's kicked two goals in this term, plays on. Puts it right up towards the square. Taylor in position and takes the mark. Brian Taylor will only be three metres out from goal. A fairly acute angle, but uh, no problems, I would say, to Brian Taylor, who has kicked one. One goal, three. Plenty of opening there for Taylor to thread the ball through. This is normally a very accurate kick. But you know what happens when you say those things. And Brian Taylor. Right through the centre, his second goal, and the Tigers go to 12-11, 83, five points again behind Footscray, 14-4, 88. Well, what a great game of football we've seen all day, and the big test of courage and character, no doubt, will come in the final stanza. We've played just over 20 minutes of this third term. Back to the centre. The Tigers has yet in this game to hit the front. Can it happen in this turn? It was won by Purser down to Burton with a high ball to the half forward line. Here's a chance now for Williams again as he goes long. Can this be the quick reply from Ian? It is. Great goal, Footscray. And they're answering the challenge. Anything the Tigers throw at them at the moment, we can go one better, say the Dogs. Ian kicks his third and Bulldogs steady. 15-4, great kicking for goal. Richmond at 12-11. And what a wonderful recruit. Ian Williams is proving for Footscray. Three goals, one today. But not just his goals, his effectiveness around the forward line. Lee and Purser, neither player a clear tap. Taken by Rollings, he puts the ball down towards the half forward line. Bartlett takes it, a lovely hand pass straight on to Rolf. Rolf handballs forward, goes after it again, gets a favourable bounce. Puts it down forward. He's offline, so far offline that it's out of bounds on the full. The kick to be taken by Chris Hansen. Good pressuring then by Brian Cordy to put him off target. So it's Hansen in the kick forward. And Roach takes the mark. Mark Lee got rid of Purser, but Michael Roach with the kick in the half forward line, member's side of the ground. Taylor gives the lead. Punched away. Bartlett was coming in. Wiley there. Both got awkward bounces. Hanson throws the ball back, <laughs> taken by Taylor across to Bartlett. He snaps. It's a beautiful looking kick. A great goal, Kevin Bartlett. Goal for goal here at the MCG at the moment as Bartlett kicks his second. And again, the margin is just five points on Seven's big lead. So after leading by 60 points at quarter time, the Bulldogs had their lead whittled down to 12 points at three quarter time. We rejoin the match now at the 25-minute mark of the final term. The difference, seven points in favour of the Bulldogs. Wonderful endeavour by both sides as Purser puts it back over the top. Diving in there as Royal gets a hand pass out. Winton traps it beautifully. The left foot kick up towards Roach. He takes the lovely mark. Michael Roach, 60 metres out from goal. Into time on, final term. So Roach, very deliberate. A long way from goal. The kick's off line. Taylor's in front. Over the back, though, it comes. Lund leads in the race for the ball. 
thumps it on, but not before the boundary line. And so we'll find a throw-in to take place. Forward puppet for the Tigers. Time on left to play, as Sandy has just told us, and Footscray holding a seven-point advantage. Tap down, taken by Waitman, tackled high, but called play on. Desperate football as Royal comes out with it for Footscray. Drives it out towards the half-pack flank. Chan leading in the race for the ball. Can he tap it back? Gets a quick hand pass towards Roach. On to Wall. Wall straightens up. Hooks it towards half-forward. Mervyn Kane at the back. Can't take it from behind, though. And a great mark to Michael Egan. Egan showing great courage. Was cramped earlier in the quarter and appears to be in strife again. But he gets the handball away to Hanson, who's almost down to the centre. Chris wobbles a kick across that centre region. A chance for the Bulldogs once again. They both go to ground. And we'll see a bounce at centre wing. Seven points the margin. Into time on. And Philip Egan getting up off the turf, waiting for this bounce. Richmond desperately needing a goal. Lee coming in to get front spot. Pushing it down towards Egan, who got the handball away. Now the opportunity for the Tigers up towards Roach. Kennedy is there, purser over the back, does it well. The Footscray defence has been outstanding in this quarter. They've been able to repel the attacks as Cordy takes the mark at centre wing. He's got the player running past, uses him too in the form of Lund. He's under pressure though, Court. Play on is the call. Another one. Out it comes to Cordy again. He gets a kick this time. Hooking it back to half forward. Edmund is there. Doesn't get a good bounce. Gronerwagen taps it forward. He was looking for Burton. But eventually it's Edmund who snaps towards goal. He's well off target and it goes out of bounds on the full. Craig Baum, the Richmond full back. Desperately wanted to get the ball back in a hurry because there's still seven points down. Seven points down. 27 minutes have gone. There's Baum. Brings the ball up, looking for Mark Lee. Purser from behind, got into the back of Lee, but recovers well, Purser. Steadies, now the left foot kick, wobbles towards the half-forward line. And coming out with Strawn, couldn't take the mark. Williams dives in after it. Players desperately, as Be Beasley comes out with it, loses it. Crawling on his hands and knees was Barn. Couldn't come out of pushing the back to Beasley. This may be the one to set things up as Beasley, within kicking distance, he's only 35 metres out from goal. Beasley has kicked three goals, Simon Beasley. And the former Western Australian, now Footscray full forward. Can he seal this game for Footscray? Seven points. It's 18-7, 115 to Richmond, 16-12, 108. Simon Beasley. Footscray fans wait with bated breath, I'm sure. Simon Beasley taking all the time that he likes puts it forward he's offline and it's eight points the margin now held by the Footscray side Beasley taking his personal tally to three goals three and there it is 16 12 18 8 Richmond desperately need to get the ball straight up the ground moving in a hurry his bomb Looks for Philip Egan. Wallace at the back. Couldn't take the mark, but recovers well. Breaks past the tackle. Swings the ball towards the half-forward line. Rawlings is in front and takes a nice mark. Barry Rawlings. Hand passes on straight away. Landy coming through. Puts the wobbly kick forward. Merman Kane takes it. Kane, a 15-metre penalty will go against Lund, but I feel that Kane was going to hand pass anyway. So now Merman Kane must get the ball forward in a hurry. There's the siren! Footscray, 18-8, something they haven't achieved in the VFL competition for the past 10 years. And for Footscray, Edmund got seven goals, a fine effort by their captain, Williams three and Beasley three. And for Richmond, getting three goals apiece, Rioli, Taylor and Welsh. Statistics on the match, and we see that the marks were dead even at 55 each of two. The kicks 199 to 184 in favour of the Bulldogs, 40 to 36 the free kicks, 64 to 57 in favour of Richmond, the handballs, 39 to 23. The Tigers on top in the hit outs and the shots at goal, 33 to 32 at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. The